When Shifting Gears returns in late July, we again catch up with Dale Earnhardt Jr. We've been really consistent, so I give us a pretty good, pretty good grade so far. Dale Jr. had two goals coming into his first season with Hendrick Motorsports. First and foremost, make the chase for the cup, but also to secure his elusive first win for his new boss, Rick Hendrick, which he finally did in Michigan on Father's Day. <laughs> 76 races since he last went to victory lane, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the winner at Michigan. It has been a wild ride so far. He's got him. Oh, I believe he's got him. Oh, he turned him. No. Like the drought will With that controversy, Dale Jr. demonstrated a very high level of maturity. I want to uh, ask everybody, just try to do your best, not to make ass of yourself. I know everybody's pissed off. That's okay. Dale Jr. also maintains his candid and straightforward style that makes Dale Jr. so unique and popular. As I was spinning out, like right after Kyle hit me, and as I was spinning out, for some reason I knew it was coming. And like in the previous episodes of Shifting Gears, Dale Jr. will take us off the track for his fans to get an inside look at NASCAR's most popular driver doing other things besides driving. It was fun to be able to tear down my house. <laughs> How many times do you think you have an opportunity to do that? Dale Earnhardt Jr. is again shifting gears as only Dale Jr. can do it. Fast, honest, and up close and personal. Shifting gears only on ESPN this July.